Hey, what's up? I'm Austin Griffith. While I was out at Blockchain Week, uh, I presented a lot of different problems we're running into with meta transactions, and uh, one of those was talking about standardization. We found out that we all kind of had something a little bit different. So as we try to build out this relayer network, it would be really cool if we uh, kind of had this standard smart contract call. And so what that kind of led to is that we all have a little bit of different arguments and I think that we're going to meet tomorrow and Alex Van de Zandt's probably going to tell us how it is and show us how we're going to do it. But I wanted to get uh, this cool trick that I learned uh, from my buddy Steve Ellis out just to kind of show how it works. So basically you can do, so if, if you're familiar with encode ABI, it, it takes uh, the function name and then the arguments that would go into it and packs it into a byte array. Well, it'd be really cool if you could do a decode ABI on chain. And I bet you will be able to soon if you can't now. I haven't figured out a way to do so. I, I bet it's going to be built into Solidity soon. But this is kind of like a neat little hack that allows you to do decode ABI uh, on uh, in in solidity so uh let's just so let's go look at the smart contract real quick so basically i set up this um this hello function right it takes in a bytes 32 a number and an address and then just emits uh, an event to prove that that worked right here's the event well uh that's fine you can call it normally right we can say string asdf number one two three four and then my address and i'll just hit send and that will just send that on chain and we'll see a message come up and it goes through fine, right? Basically that's just calling it uh, normally. So uh, what if you wanted to actually pack those in to a simple bytes array, right? And that's what we're doing here. So the trick is, the heart of the trick is basically to call yourself, like you call address this with the byte array uh, as the, the call data. So basically, just like we do with like kind of the bouncer proxy and a lot of the meta transaction stuff where you would normally call somewhere else with the call data, you actually call yourself with the call data. And if it's crafted correctly, it will call this function and the arguments will get parsed out. And probably a lot of people know about this, but I didn't know about it. So I wanted to share it with everybody. And uh, Steve and I called it the poor man's ABI decode, which I really like. So uh, let's just do something else over here. Let's take the string and let's do, you know, HJKL and 5678, right? And this time, instead of sending it, we'll craft it into a string. And basically, these first four bytes are the, the hash of the function that it's going to call, that hello. And then the rest of them are the arguments that go into the hello. But what's cool here is we can submit just a single bytes array. And if we say send crafted, it's going to, obviously it's gonna cost just a little bit more gas cause it's gonna have to do a little bit more, but it's gonna save you a lot of time. And in the long run, this is gonna help with standardization. When we're talking about meta transactions, we have all these different relayers that can, um, all work on all the different networks. We just need a standard way to do that. And uh, I remember it, it resonated with me. Piotr said, how about from chrono chronologic? He said that it would be cool if we had like basically a byte array for call data and a byte array for condition data. And then you could just, you can put whatever conditions you wanted to in that byte array. And, and this method would allow for that. You, you would basically put your conditions in one and it would pass in and then you could do whatever you want with this, this method here. You could, you know, cut it up into whatever arguments you wanted to and check to see if the conditions are true. And if they are true, you re return true. So then, then the relayer can just have the same exact arguments for everyone and say, is this, is this meta transaction ready? And if it is, then execute it. So there it is. Uh, I'll put the repo in the notes, but that's uh, the poor man's ABI decode. Thanks to my dude, Steve Ellis, for teaching me that. See ya.